viewers, welcome to our morning worship here on Moments of Inspiration. This is the first day of the new school term and to emphasize the importance of education, Moments of Inspiration will be featuring the staff and students of our five Presbyterian secondary schools in the month of September. I am Faith Chance, a student of Napri Girls High School, and my fellow students and I are pleased to share in devotions with you today. Also, this month, the Presbyterian Church recognizes the importance of stewardship. Today, we will be focusing on the stewardship of the gift of music. The heavens tell of God's glory. Shout joyfully to God all the earth. Sing the glory of His name. Make His praise glorious. As we prepare our hearts and minds for worship, let us bow together in prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning thanking you for everything you bless us with. Lord, as the new academic year begins, we pray for safety and success, wisdom and understanding, enabling us to achieve our goals. As we lead your people in worship, we pray that you help us to be receptive to what is shared so all may be drawn closer to you. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. As we continue in worship, we welcome Melanie Babulal, who will lead us with the hymn, Praise the Lord with the Sound of Trumpet. Praise the Lord with the sound of trumpet. Praise the Lord with the heart. scripture reading as Melanie Kisun reads to us from Psalm 98. Let us listen to the words of the psalmist. The scripture reading is taken from Psalm 98 and it is entitled, God the Ruler of the World. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have worked salvation for him. The Lord has made his salvation known and revealed his righteousness to the nations. He has remembered his love and his faithfulness to Israel. All the ends of the eight have seen the salvation of our God. Shout for joy to the Lord. All the eight, based into jubilant song with music, make music to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the sound of singing, with trumpets and the blast of the ram's horn. Shout for joy before the Lord, the King. Let the sea resound and everything in it, the will, all and all who live in it. Let the rivers clap their hands. Let the mountains sing together for joy. Let them sing before the Lord, for he comes to judge the eight. He will judge the world in righteousness and the peoples with equity. Glory be to the Father, 
and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Earlier this year, our Steel Orchestra NAPS combined participated in the secondary school's panorama competition, where we emerged first place winners. This morning, we have just a small group of girls with us, accompanied by our music teacher, Mr. Sean Sidafal. They will now play for us the song, Ave Maria. After this, Rebecca and Jaton will proclaim God's word to us on the stewardship of the gift of music. created the earth and all that is in it. He crafted us in his image and blessed us with this life. Every joy and every challenge, every opportunity and every talent, every resource and every experience comes from him. If this life on earth is our personal loan from God, then that makes us, each individual soul, stewards of every gift he has given to us. One of the most joyful gifts we have ever been bestowed with 
is music. Whether we join in exuberant singing or play an instrument, we must nurture our God-given talents. We must forego the judgment of the world and be stewards of God's gift of music. Let us come to God in prayer. Let us pray. Father in heaven, as we come into your presence, we thank you for every blessing you have bestowed upon us. May the Holy Spirit move in every heart present with us. Help us to bless all those who are present and teach us how to appreciate your gift of music and to use it to praise and worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Music has become an integral part of our daily lives. We turn to music in times of trouble and solitude or use it to continue in our mirth and festivities. It is a necessary aspect in our spiritual lives and worship. We may sometimes fail to realize that our talents are, be it playing the steel pan or delivering a stunning vocal solo, yet another blessing from God. He expects us to utilize music, to find solace, to spread his word to others, and to join together as his creation in fellowship and in peace. We are stewards of the gift of music. In the Bible and in a spiritual context, stewardship can be defined by some basic principles, which include that of ownership, responsibility, accountability, and reward. He has entrusted us with compelling abilities, which, when utilized in the name of the Lord, help us to fulfill our duty as his children. We need to be faithful stewards of all God has given us within the opportunities presented through his providence to glorify him, to serve the common good, and to further his kingdom. Some people may be thinking, but God has not blessed me with any of these so-called talents. Therefore, it is not my responsibility to be a steward of music. Yet, it is a duty God has distributed among us all. God is not concerned with how perfect or accurate our music is, but rather he longs for pureness and benevolence in our devotion. As his image and likeness, we must preserve the purity of songs and instruments and live truly according to his word. It is easy to become overwhelmed by the ways of the world, but if we are to be devoted stewards of God's gifts, we must filter out the negativity presented to us, disguised as the music that surrounds us in our day-to-day -day lives. He has called us to manage the integrity and goodness of his creation. As loyal followers of Christ and his teachings, we must prevent our ears, our mouths, our minds and our hearts from being corrupted by the evil words and music that pervade this world. God made music available to us so that we can uplift one another, empower and motivate ourselves, and most importantly, come together to exalt his name. We are introduced to music before we are even brought into this world. Doting mothers-to-be lovingly sing to their babies while still in the womb, building their bond, preparing the unborn child for the life that is to come and indoctrinating them into the ways of the world. Music has the power to teach lessons, forge relationships and strengthen our bond with God. We fail to see how simple it is to incorporate music in mundane tasks and we may even underestimate how often we do it without even thinking. At our school, we sing hymns in worship. We make music education available from one's very entry into our school and we participate in many music competitions and festivals. Our girls can sing, dance, play the recorder and the pan in the name of God. Not only is it an outlet for expression, but a blessing in its own manner, having brought so much bliss to our school, transforming every worship and every assembly. 
It reminds us always to think of the Lord in song and in praise, and that there are so many different ways to dedicate time to God. Psalm 98 tells us to sing for joy, to play music and clap our hands together with joy before the Lord, because he comes to rule the earth. Before the Lord comes once again, he wants us to praise him with glad tidings and jubilation, with instruments themselves singing songs unto the Lord. The coming reign of the Lord on the earth is here celebrated as an event of great joy. Therefore, three groups are called upon to rejoice, us as God's people. The whole earth, including the rivers and the seas, the mountains and the skies, and all of nature, including every living creature. The psalmist personifies aspects of nature to emphasize that the whole earth rejoices at the coming of the righteous king and judge. Thus, it tells us what to do when we are praising the Lord our God. All of creation should unite and rejoice in the name of Jesus, since the setting up of God's kingdom here on earth is our responsibility, and it should be seen as a matter of celebration and worship. Our God and Savior should be welcomed with loud shouts and acclamations of joy. Each person should proclaim their love of the Lord and propagate it among others, thus spreading the delight of his name and his works. And so, this is why we must not sing half-hearted praises to our God. We should sing with every fiber of our being. Great honor and praise must go to the Lord of all the earth when he takes over to reign. Do we not seek his saving grace and salvation? We get excited about other things, so why not get the most excited for the one who guaranteed our eternal lives in heaven? We connect to music without even giving it a second thought. Therefore, we must purify ourselves and the music we allow ourselves to absorb as it determines the nature of our heart and our relationship with God the Father. One must always reflect on the beauty of God's gifts to us and be reminded that he counts on us to be stewards of all that is good and holy and righteous. Go forth into the world and be a steward of God's gifts. Nurture your talents. Sing and clap for joy and use music to praise the Lord our God. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I invite Ashley Jacob now to lead us in prayer. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we come before you today to give thanks for the blessing of music you have bestowed upon our lives. Your word says, Shout for joy to the Lord. Let all the earth burst into jubilant song with music. We especially thank you for the musical talent you have given to each person. We pray that this talent will be used to glorify your name and spread the gospel of Christ. Father, let the music we produce in worship be a testimony to your majesty and unconditional love for all people. May the Holy Spirit guide us so we can use our gifts to draw persons back to you through song, instrument, and dance. Lord, we bring before you today those persons who do not recognize their musical gifts. May your Holy Spirit instill confidence within them. Touch their lips that they may sing praises unto you. Father, we pray for each individual in this nation, that you may help them recognize the talent you have blessed them with. We recognize that music can be used to calm anxious spirits and to heal and unite a hurting nation. As the angels announced the birth of Jesus with song, glory to God in the highest heaven and peace on earth to all. May your soothing voice silence every doubt within your people. Lord, let your presence and beauty be manifested in every note and may the lyrics of each song be established in the hearts of your people.
May your spirit lead us so that we will be instruments of your peace and proclaim your glory with joy. Through the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. It is our prayer that the message shared this morning inspires us all to use music and song to enrich the lives of others. Viewers, the Presbyterian Church of Trinidad and Tobago and the Naprima Girls High School would like to invite you to save the dates for these upcoming events. Our annual walkathon will be held on Saturday, 14th September, beginning at 6.30 a.m. at Naprima Girls High School. There will be fun activities and breakfast on sale upon return to school. All supporters are welcome to attend. Naprima Girls High School Annual Bazaar will be held on the 2nd of November from 1 p.m. Join us for tea or patronize the Indian delicacies, cakes and candies, ice cream or food stalls, or play any of the variety of games available. We especially invite fellow students, friends, and families to join us for an evening of fun. The Board of Men of the Presbyterian Church of Trinidad and Tobago is hosting its annual Fun and Family Day on Tuesday, 24th September, Republic Day, at Apollo Grounds in Presal. This is a completely free event with lots of food, snacks, and entertainment for the entire family. There will also be a bouncy castle and a petting zoo for the children. This family day will begin at 10 a.m. and close at 4 p.m. All are invited. For any further information, you can contact us via our website at www.pctt.org.tt or www.naprimagirls.edu.tt. Sharing with us through song, Emma Rahman will now lead us in the song, Thankful.
behalf of Naprima Girls, we are truly grateful to have shared in worship with all of you today. If you have been so moved to share this message with a friend, please do so. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, Presbyterian Church, Trinidad and Tobago, as well as follow us on Facebook at Moments of Inspiration. We now leave you with today's Moment of Inspiration. Nurture your talents as a steward of God's gift of music.